at the end of the 2012 football season, we had the opportunity to play the University of Florida in the Sugar Bowl, and that was a big win for us. But the University of Florida took a bigger hit a couple of months earlier uh, when we recruited Dr. Bierman, uh, Andrea Bierman, and some of her colleagues uh, and convinced them to believe in us at the University of Louisville and to leave uh, the University of Florida and join Susie and Scott and our world-class spinal cord injury program here. And we brought Andrea here and her colleagues so that they could build a world-class pediatric spinal cord program. And so that brings us to our announcement today. Today we're very pleased and honored to announce that the Cosair Charities are again helping us achieve our dream, our vision, and they're providing us $7.3 million of support for Dr. Bierman's uh, efforts. These funds will help us purchase the equipment Dr. Bierman needs, as well as hire additional personnel to expand our efforts to serve more children and to ensure that more children have access to new therapies that hopefully will relieve uh, them of their uh, suffering and help them uh, as they gain mobility and body function in moving forward. It's our honor and privilege to team with the university, Dr. Harkman and Dr. Behrman, and all their colleagues as they search for ways to help children gain or regain the ability to walk. For 90 years, the University of Louisville and Cozair Charities have worked side by side improving the lives of children in the community. The university has been our primary partner in meeting the health and wellness needs of Cozair kids. Within a three year period, uh, babies, literally, who have spinal cord injury, uh, a severed spinal cord, uh, crawling around on the floor with their elbows. That's the only way they can navigate. And then walking uh, with this training. Who would have ever thought that the spinal cord has a memory of its own? Uh, it's an amazing discovery. Uh, and for over uh, 10 to 15 years, uh, we've had this program uh, burgeoning here at the University of Louisville under Dr. Whittemore's and Dr. Harkimus' uh, leadership. And now, as uh, both Jim and Jerry have mentioned, we've got a new rising star. Well, she's already a star in this field. It's just that now she's a star here at the at University of Louisville. We're going to create a hub for pr delivery of locomotor chaining to children with paralysis, a hub for training of physical therapists, occupational therapists, physicians, and scientists around this agenda, and we're also going to conduct the cutting-edge research which lays, which lays the foundation for clinical decision-making and transfer and development of new therapies into the clinic. It's true what they say. It's possible here in Louisville. We are in the right place with amazing support from COSAIR, the University of Louisville, and this community. We would not be here today without the experience of Jamie Bartolini and her son, Kyle. Jamie contacted us about eight years ago after her then very young son, Kyle, experienced a devastating spinal cord injury, leaving him paralyzed from the chest down. Jamie was relentless in her search for hope for her son. Our journey examining locomotor training for children began with Kyle and his mother. Kyle's recovery via locomotor training has taught us much and paved the way for every child since as we continue to learn and to study and advance the hope of recovery for children with paralysis. They are the true pioneers. Let me introduce to you Jamie Bartolini and her son Kyle and their family. They represent the many families and children who will be touched by this generous gift from Cozair Charities. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for having me here today. <clears throat> I was asked to share Kyle's story with you as it's an amazing one. And so it's important for you to hear how locomotor training changed his life and how it affected him. 10 years ago, our family was changed forever. It was the darkest, most frightening time we've ever seen. But through the desperation came determination. 10 years ago, our sweet little three-year-old boy was paralyzed. We were told he'd never walk, sit up, use his hands, or possibly breathe without a ventilator. We were devastated and grieving. We had to mourn the loss of our son and what he was, and we had to get to know him all over again. He was different and unfamiliar. He wasn't carefree, mischievous, and fearless. 
uh, instead he was confused and, and afraid of everything. Months of many surgeries, therapy, and hospitalization was in store for our precious three-year-old. Little did we know months would turn into years, consisting of more surgeries and extensive therapy. Therapy that would take us a thousand miles from home. Therapy that would ask so much of a little boy. And therapy that would change his life forever. A year and a half after his injury, we learned of locomotor training and found Dr. Behrman. I begged her to see Kyle. She wasn't quite sure how his body would respond to training as he was only four years old, but she was willing to try. He was accepted to be a part of research study at University of Florida, where he attended locomotor training five days a week, two hours a day for four months. Along with training, he had physical therapy twice a week, respiratory therapy once a week, and many tests to help Dr. Behrman and her team learn more about how such a young spinal cord responds to training. Some of these tests were a bit painful and many times scary, but I reminded Kyle that others would benefit from what he was doing. He was so brave and he did everything they asked. Four months prior, my husband drove us to Florida with Kyle's wheelchair in tow. When he returned to pick us up four months later, Kyle walked out to meet his daddy in the parking lot. I remember Kyle and I were so excited to show dad what he had learned. My husband couldn't believe his eyes and realized that all the time apart was worth it. Kyle continues to amaze us every day. Summer of 2012, he started walking with crutches, nine years after his injury. The physical changes in Kyle have been tremendous, but we noticed far more than walking. Kyle's self-esteem and confidence skyrocketed. He wasn't afraid anymore, he took chances, and he was proud of himself, and he was way more independent. It never crossed our mind that his whole being would be affected. The changes were astounding. Locomotor training has offered Kyle more options. He uses his wheelchair for long distances, his crutches <clears throat> at home for shorter distances, his walker to get dressed and to play one of his favorite games, ping pong. Kyle enjoys sports of all kinds. He's an avid paintballer, an excellent student, a hunter that will shoot anything he can mount on the wall, a loyal friend and brother, and an amazing son. Locomotor training has played a huge part in shaping who he is today. Kyle was hesitant, though, to start training in Kentucky. He'd been visiting University of Florida for eight years and was afraid of the change. Gainesville, Florida had become our home away from home. From the trainers at UF to the staff and volunteers at Ronald McDonald House, we had roots there. He was afraid of the move, but I reminded him that Andrea, Dina, and Shelley were leaving everything they knew behind to pursue this. Louisville must have something special to offer if all three women were willing to uproot their families, sell their homes, and totally disrupt their lives. The first time I came to Kentucky, though, I got it. I understood the change, and I was thankful for it. I see why they came here, and I'm excited to see how this program grows and how children are affected by the move of these three brave women. Just this summer, we had the pleasure of staying at Ronald McDonald House here in Louisville, and we stayed with other kids that were going through locomotor training. We all became fast friends and rejoiced in each other's victories. We had dinner together every night and couldn't wait to hear what happened in therapy that day. We shared helpful tips, went on outings together, but mostly understood we understood the struggle of dealing with children living with paralysis. We all still keep in contact, and I love hearing how the kids have adjusted after being home. Knowing that my son played a part in their child's recovery is truly heartwarming. Dr. Behrman, thank you for taking a chance on Kyle so many years ago. Your dedication to recovery through locomotor training has helped him become the strong, confident, well-rounded young man he is today. I appreciate you more than words, and it's been an honor sharing this journey with you. One thing that's weighed heavy on my heart, though, since we started all this, is that all the kids that were stuck in their chairs, I often think about the kids that could be up walking if given a chance. Well, times are changing, thanks to Cozares and University of Louisville. Your generous gift will touch many children and give them the same opportunity that Kyle had so many years ago, an opportunity to get stronger, to get out of their chairs and to become more confident. <clears throat> thank you from a mom that's been there. But more importantly, thank you from the moms to follow. 
Your amazing gift will make a difference that will impact kids living with paralysis one step at a time.